This has been a relaxing, great trip. No Corey, no chum, no old man. I got to check out some cool stuff for the shop, and to top it all off, I still beat him to Sturgis. I just dropped my motorhome off, got my bike out of the back, and now I'm ready to go downtown Sturgis. I've always wanted to hit up Sturgis, and now that I'm here, it definitely does not disappoint. It's amazing how many bikes and people are here. You almost can't hear yourself think. The one place I've been dying to check out is Gypsy Vintage Cycle. This place is legendary. This is where the Sturgis Rally began, right here. Hey, how's it going? Hey, welcome to Gypsy Vintage Cycle. All right. Mind if I look around? You sure can. I've heard a lot about this place. They always do crazy business during the motorcycle rally because they always have some really cool stuff. You got some cool old bikes here. You don't expect to see old Japanese bikes here in Sturgis. I started this business with Harleys and Indians, and no one could afford them. Had the old timers walking in with the creaky leather going, where's the Harleys, where's the Indians? And I said, knock it off. You rode a Honda like everybody else. <laughs> and you know they do. They also remember, yeah. they tell you their story and what they still have hiding in the garage, by the way. Speaking of hiding in garages, uh, what's that? Oh, that's something we're just finishing up. Come on back. It's a 66 Honda CB160. Oh, this is like one of their first real street bikes. For 1966, this was high-tech and cool. I mean, it was reliable. These were the kind of bikes that you could literally sit around for a year sure. and two kicks it would start. And you would drive down the street, and the guy on the Harley would still be kicking it over. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The 160 Honda is just an absolute wonderful middleweight bike of its day. For guys my age, it, it was the bread and butter bike. It's the kind of bike you took your girlfriend out on a picnic on. It's how you got to work. They're really going away, and it's harder and harder to find them, especially in that kind of condition. This is an early Honda. When the Honda first came to the States, they had the little scooters. And um, no one thought they were going to sell because everyone thought a Japanese motorcycle was just going to be junk. Sure. They really were built unbelievably well. Um, and the coolest part was some of these bikes sit around in a garage for 45 years, and then they run just fine. Yeah, they came up with a great marketing campaign. It was uh, meet someone nice on a Honda. You meet the nicest people on a Honda. That's right. You meet the nicest people on a Honda. Harleys were just beginning to get that reputation of the, only the bad boys rode them and everything else like that. And motorcycles in general had a really bad PR problem. Right. And Honda came along, and they just had advertising with young kids, uh, having a good time, really friendly, and made incredibly good bikes. And this is the factory color? Now, this model actually came in three colors, a black, a, a red, and a cream white like this. OK. So it runs and everything? It's completely restored. It's good to go. As a matter of fact, those are the last set of exhaust pipes I could find on the planet for this, their original equipment manufacturing pipes. It runs like a new bike at this point. It is a cool bike. People never thought the Hondas were going to be worth money one day. So most of them got thrown away or just junked. Now, all of a sudden, old guys want that bike of their youth, and there's not that many around. So it's hard to come by a complete 66 Honda. So how much you want for it? Well, we've got this at $5,500. I think it's a pretty conservative price for the condition of the bike. And you'll take? <laughs> We're real close at 55. We're not too far off there. This is headed for auction. We probably won't even put it on the street. Take 4,500 for it? You know, you don't have to ship it to Vegas. I got my motor home here with a trailer, and we can throw it on the back, and... Well, it's a... Uh, that's certainly fair, but I, I'm thinking more about that great American tradition of splitting it with you. Halfway at 4,900? How about we go five? Five grand. I guarantee you'll never lose a nickel on this bike. And your mechanic will have it all running tomorrow. Guaranteed. All right, it's a deal. Hey, you made a good deal, too. Outstanding. I'll come by tomorrow and pick it up. Good. I think I got this thing for a great price, and I can make a couple grand. This is the start to a great trip here in Sturgis.